Come on, on the set. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we're here live. Here we go, Z Nation. Daily Xander podcast. It's we're been a while. It's been about three months for me since I've done a podcast. I had about two and a half. I don't think I've ever done a podcast. Oh, my goodness. Well, first off, let me introduce you. This is Chris Lees, who hails from England. Yeah. He is the lead trio member, trio being a band. Yes, on but I have no, Quest. no fixed abode. No fixed abode. Yeah. <laughs> the man is very humble at what he does. He's a humble abode. Humble abode. Because and this it's a guy, pleasure, it's a pleasure to a do man. a podcast. And for my friends who may be watching, this guy's from Alaska. From what Alaska. an exotic place. Well, exotic isn't the right word, but I can't think of a better word. Yes, yeah, so if we're all watching, you would never know if we're from England or Alaska because we have our eyes covered by shades. We do. So we like to leave it up to the imagination. Exactly. We're in Cape Verde. We were thinking of ways to ah, hear yes. the sound language for those people who didn't have sound. So Cape <laughs> Verde. Mm. Green. Look at that right there. So so everybody's covered now. <laughs> everybody's covered. We're clearly uh, nonsensical when it comes to doing this podcast. Yeah. Oh, this is one of my favorite things to do is a podcast because you just have a genuine moment in time with another person or yes. several people. For instance, I've done it with like four other people. Yes. And uh, I'll give you an example. I'm kind of jumping ahead all of a sudden, but... When I did one in Dublin one time, I was at a hostel. Yeah. And it was me and two other friends. We were doing it in the basement of a hostel. And when we were doing it, all of a sudden, this guy just comes out from downstairs. And I just look at him and, hey, man, do you want to join our podcast? Yeah. He's like, what are you, uh, he was like, what are you doing? I was like, hey, man, come and join our podcast. Yeah. And he just sat next to us. He basically opened up to me, to me for like 40 minutes. Wow. It was pretty cool. Like, that wouldn't have otherwise happen if I didn't just put the camera out. And all of a sudden, boom. You have that ability though, Alex. Alex has this ability to make people relaxed and feel okay. So you attract people, you know, in England, the only personal intelligence. Yeah. By the way, in England, I thought a white Russian was a drink, but we have a white Russian right here. <laughs> Does anybody know what country that might be? <laughs> Belarus. Belarus. He's Belarus. Oh, that's right. Shout out to Chris, Chris, Christina. Christina and Artem. Artem, who's right next to Hey, we're back on again. Oh, we're back. Oh, right, just like that. We, uh, we have one viewer too, by the way. I don't know who's watching. Somebody's watching. Okay, so where do we just leave off? We just lost connection. By the way, so in Cape Verde, Wi-Fi is a little unstable. That's one thing about the ship experience. Every port we go to, it's pretty hard to find good, stable Wi-Fi. Yeah. Both on the ship, in the cruise ship, because we both work on a cruise ship, yeah. and also in the, you could say, exotic ports. It's been very exotic. Exotic. Yeah. exotic. We've been from Antarctic to South America to now we're off the coast of Africa. Oh. We're back, we're back for a third time. So, so far we've been interrupted three times and we're about three minutes strong. Three minutes strong. It's not a great connection here, guys. So, if there's anybody sticking with us, then you are really, you know, you're stalwart. You are true, you are true Daily Xander fans. You Daily are? Fans. Yeah, this is coming from Alex, Alex's feed, so I might have some friends looking in, I'm not sure. But <laughs> he's been an inspiration to me since I first met him, this guy. I know you definitely have family. Back again. Okay, this is how the theme is going about that. 15 to 20 seconds before we get interrupted again with connectivity. Shout out to the person behind us. So what do you want to get in? We were just singing all of a sudden a perfect harmony by Chris. So Chris has got a music background. How long have you been playing or just involved with music? 42 years. Wow, 42 years. I started when I was 10, but I'm not going to tell you my age. Chris's age is a lifetime learner and developer of himself. Yes. So that's what his age reflects. We are. And we, you've also been on cruise ships for a while. But then you took a gap. Off and on. Off and on. Off and on. Just like this podcast. <laughs> that's a good one. This podcast is off and on. See, hope, we're hoping that they've joined all these little bits together when it, it replays itself. Because we've, faith, we've been on and off. We've been at 15, 20 seconds and it goes. And 15, 20 seconds and it comes back. So Yeah. Hopefully, there is something that comes out of this. But if not, then we've shared a moment, haven't we, Alex? So true. That's so. And this is something like there's a lot I can tell you about myself. But one of the reasons why I do things like this is the development mental aspect, both for myself, but like moments it creates like this. Say that again. The motorbike blanked around. Oh, yeah, probably did. Uh, the developmental aspect for myself, but also yes. with others who I'm with. But even so, it creates a conversation, like. Because we could still be sitting at this table not doing this, yep. and we'd still have our phones in our hand, like yes. Arden right now, and we're not going to really talk whatsoever, and we, we wouldn't be basically mind exploring or sharing thoughts Absolutely. or ideas that we wouldn't otherwise have come across. Yep. And especially when you do that with people that are from other parts of the world, other experiences, other backgrounds, you really, you really grow as a person that you wouldn't, like, 
I always think of like standard education. Standard education never gets something like this. Well, that's been great because that's why I've met you very late at night sometimes. Alex finds a place in the crew mess. They leave it open for us. So I sometimes wonder in there at 1, 1 1.30, 2 o'clock, and he's reading these great inspirational books. But you'll always lift your head up and say hi and put your book down and chat with me for an hour. So that's how we've kind of kind of got our relationship going, isn't it? Late night chats. Late night chats. Late night chats, chats can be some of the most beneficial to, to throughout your day. Absolutely. I'm trying to remember when we even first met. I have no idea. It was in the mess hall. I think it was. No idea how you probably out. saw me kind of trying to navigate myself around your gymnasium probably a few times. Um, uh, doing a few That's how I normally that's how I normally meet most people. This is a gym instructor by the way for my friends who don't know. Gym instructor on a cruise ship. Yep. It's been interesting. I am I'm an expert towel roller now. I uh, sushi I make sushi towel rolls. It's amazing. You go roll. you go on any machine and there's a towel and a little bottle of water waiting for you and that's you that does most that. of the time that's always me I didn't that's know always, that that's always me most sometimes though we don't get towels in time so I end up having to put like these baby towels out and people, yeah people get upset not really upset I didn't they, know it was you yeah. it's, I thought you every day your little underlings I do that for nine months in a row wow there's no never, never day you don't do it that's fabulous every day I'm gonna do it tonight I did this morning excellent <laughs> I'll remember now <laughs> I'll remember it's you yeah. well we just got a shout out the core gang, oh look, it's Katie Eagler. I work with her. So she said the core the core gang misses you and your deep questions keep doing awesome things, man. Shout out to Katie. Hope all is well with you and hope everybody at Core is being blessed, thankful, and amazing. Fabulous. That is probably one of the Okay, if you were still watching by the way, I uh, I've done so many shout outs to Core while on the ship because I've come across individuals that have Parkinson's disease, like two actually. And I've mentioned Core. And actually, one lady lives in Deland, Florida. I told her about Core, so hopefully she contacts Core. Like any function, like arms or yes. legs. It's a, quite, a, quite a perspective and answer. Sorry, um, Alex was just explaining to me Core, C O R E. Yeah, C O R E. And he just had a member just uh, thanking him because she worked there before, right? Yeah, worked there for about almost a year. Almost a year. As a. Just a trainer. A trainer? Yeah. Trainer. Fabulous. But yeah, we've had some great chats at night, and um, although there has been times I've gone from hero to zero after three or four JD and Cokes, isn't that right? Shout out to America, that's uh, Jack Daniels by the way, Jack yeah. Daniels. Jack Daniels Jack Daniels Coke. finds its way on any ship all over the vastness of this planet, on the sea. And if you get the right bartender on here, like Diogo. Diogo or Diago? Well, people, I used to call him Diego. I always call him Diago, but I... Diago, oh that's nice. I know it's not Diego because I got I got corrected once. Yeah. So you think of San Diego? Yeah. San Diego's D I E G O. Diego. Diego is uh, his name is spelled D I A G O. Diago. Yeah. Diago. It sounds like some kind of clip from Anchorman where they're talking about. Isn't that Santiago? Isn't that Santiago? Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. It's funny. Because they always go and have a wonderful night or say stay classy or something like that. What's that's what's right. Wrong, what's wrong with They say like stay classy. Yeah, safe Because he's talking about Santiago and he said, I think it means a whale's penis. And she said, No, I think it means Saint Tiago. Oh, oh, goodness. Sorry, I should. I'm, oh. No, no, no. I'm all about. And no, that's no JD and no Coke filters, as well. No he had, and we're using the, the tripod right now, using the phone yeah. on top of what he just drank, which is a Coca Cola with lemon. I've never seen it before. Actions and you can get into real deep. But I did it again though. I thought, this time I'm not going to say whale's penis on a, on a podcast, but it look, came out again. We're saying it again. Whale's penis. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, we're, we're professionals, I promise. We're professionals. We professionals. And what we do in a job sense, yeah, but more so in life. We're professionals of life. We are professionals of life. We, we know the meaning of we know the of, meaning of life. The meaning of life, but more importantly, the moment, as you've all been there, and you've heard it a thousand times before, we know that. Put your bloody phones down, look up. Look up. Look up and say, hello world. Hello world. We are here now. We are here now, in the present. The best home is the here and the now. Yeah. You've Not heard so. it all before, guys, but the present is why it's the present, because it is a present. It's a present. Don't miss it. Yeah. Back once more again, Chris. We have two viewers now. I don't know who the other one is. Shout out to the viewers, though. Thank you for uh, joining the Daily Xander podcast live from Mandelo Camp Verde, just off the coast of Africa. Setting sail for Monte Carlo here in about two weeks or so. Yeah. 
Yeah. We get off. Uh, we get off then. I do. Do you don't? You stay on. I am. I'm on the ship until October, potentially November, if I get extended. For the long haul, Chris. Even though all seven continents, I have. I've done eight world cruises. Oh. There you go. Okay. Done world cruises. Done eight world cruises. We're just talking about it. Where you enjoy more of the world cruises, or like cruises we're doing right now, where it's more of uh, several regions of the world. Yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. It's been brilliant though, because you know, out of all those world cruises, obviously you don't go to all the places in the world. You just circumnavigate the world and you stop at certain points. So I've never done the Antarctic before, so that was an amazing experience. Yeah. I arrived in June, so I did two Antarctica cruises. You did how many? Two, two. Because I, I, I arrived on the 13th of January, so I'm yeah, in June Antarctica. How did you like Antarctica? Amazing. I've just put together an eight-minute video of it. I'll be yeah. posting that soon. Ooh. And it is cool. really was inspiring. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. That was a neat, yeah, that's a neat moment. <laughs> I was just talking about this. The, there's a point towards the end of my video when the, uh, there was a, a quite an elderly couple that was in. Uh, on one of the landings in the Antarctic and uh, he proposed to his fiance and they must have been in their 80s or he was or late 70s yeah. very special moment very spe and that's how inspiring these places are yeah certainly when you go somewhere that's like very beautiful brings out like acts of beauty in fact I'm feeling like Johnson. Johnson. Hey. Johnson. you should probably say yeah. JJ's. Yeah. There's, that's a lot of, there's actually there's a lot of pairs of JJ's on the ship. There's some twins on board because I'm a twin for those people of oh, Alex's yeah. friend who don't know. Yeah. And I also have. He has twin boys. Yeah. I have twin He's boys. He's a twin and he has twin boys. What are the? I mean, the so chances he, of that? Chances of just being a human being. Yeah. One in like a four trillion or something like that. So a huge number. <laughs> chances of being a twin. Yeah. Even more. Chances of being a twin and having twins. Because they always say, don't they, that it's on the woman's side, it skips a generation. I broke all the rules. Rule we'll breaker. We'll oh, shit. Yeah. Look, sorry, we're back again. We're just talking about <laughs> statements that don't mean anything. <laughs> that are just crazy that we pick up like, from childhood that <laughs> don't do you any good at all. You could be like, these 15 second clips of the podcast don't mean anything. That's not true, though. Don't start true. That's just a one perspective but I like I like those sayings as far as you're right though like why are they said that way and they don't hold any positive value they don't own any positive value whatsoever like uh, you know they keep you down they keep you down yeah and if anybody's been down out there it's not very nice it's not very nice to be down you know sometimes you need to kick up the backside just to really realize you've got no real reason to be down there's other reasons to focus on yeah if you go to the aspect of, you think of like the movie Batman, yeah, the movie Batman, like the, the father, there's always that flashback of the father saying like, Bruce, why do we fall down? And then he just says like, to get, you know, what happens when we fall down? Yeah, like, something like that, like, why, why do we fall down so we can get back up? Yeah. So you get back up, you're taller, you're stronger, you're a go-getter. Yeah. You walk with a bigger chest, you're a peacock. Absolutely. You start pecking at those individuals. Down. That is so true, and I watched a great movie two nights ago. If you want to see it, it's called The Darkest Hour. It's factual about Winston Churchill and how he saved Europe, basically. I know people are going to say, what are you talking about? But if you watch it, you'll see the facts. And he had a great statement that he said. I don't know if the wording's correct, but he said, failure is not final. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. I'm trying to be inspirational here, but I had a bit of a failure myself. But as Winston Churchill said, he said, success is not final, failure is not fatal, but having the courage to continue is what counts. Bam! There you go. That is a knockout delivering quote punch. That was Winston Churchill, you see, and that stuck in my head, just about. So. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> just the second time I was stuck The second time around I got it. It was in your head the entire time you just had to pull out. That's a yeah, very impactful quote, and it's good. You can please some of the people some of the time, or all of the people some of the time, but you can't please all of the people all of the time. It's just the way it is. But what we don't do is if we're pissed off or we're not happy, we don't go raining on other people's parade or, you know, if you're not happy, then cheer yourself up or speak to somebody who can listen. Listeners are good.
There's some great listeners out. It's been paused. So it's get it's paused. It's paused. So periodically it's paused. We've probably been paused like 10, 10 times now. We're about fifteen minutes strong. Fifteen minutes strong, and yet we've probably gone for about. I'm talking about half that an hour. Kind of... We probably should get a little closer. Yeah, yeah. That's the way you are. So you just continue with this. I would have probably given in after the first time. It, it just kind of paused and it's said fun. failure. This is enjoyable. And it said lost connection. But you're, st you're sticking with it. Oh, that this is, is you. Is that is a metaphor for, is, yeah. for Alex. This is continue. These are these are highlights of my uh, my yeah. life. This is doing. I really I really do enjoy doing. That's good, the, dude. These podcasts. I'm sure other people do too. It's I've like done. you're sharing your wisdom I've like done. you do with me, yeah. with with more people. Hey, yeah. there's a baby there with a Hello Kitty t-shirt on <laughs> in Cape Verde. Da, 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 Just the way you look tonight. Just the way you look tonight. Yeah. Oh, so, we left the phone up here real quick and see if we can... Oh uh, yeah, so right there is the ship. Right there is the ship that we've been on. I've been yes, on since did. January. Same for him, since January. And that's where we're going to continue to be for the next six or seven months. It's our home, our home from home. Chris, though, is leaving in about two and a half weeks, two weeks. No, Got 12 days. 12 days, a baker's not dozen. So a baker's dozen minus one, 12 days. Just say a dozen, it's easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way to call it like... like 12 oh days, God, not that I'm be... counting, of course. <laughs> Never and even count. though I'm enjoying it, you always seem to, when it gets close, you always want to get just... So even though, you, as I said, you're looking forward to getting home, you start to think, wait a minute, Will I ever see these guys again? Because that's, that's our job, isn't it? We, we can sometimes make great friends. And that's the good thing about Facebook. Hopefully with all these kind of things that's going off with Facebook, it doesn't collapse because the shares have gone down 15%. Oh, Did you know that? I know they had a scandal and I didn't know. I imagine the shares would have gone down, but I don't follow much it's just It's just the way they kind of process all of our information and how, how how they're kind of dealing with it and they've got whatsapp now and they've got twitter or what is it no instagram and stuff so yeah, right. they're sharing it with so many different kind of advertising companies and so you know but the great thing is we keep in touch yeah and that's just it like it might not be facebook 10 years from now but it'll always be something else that yeah to keep us in touch so that is a bogeys oh. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> okay <laughs> So yeah, we were just saying, so thanks to Facebook, there's always some people who think, oh my God, live stream, I'm not interested. Well, turn the bloody thing off then. <laughs> Oops, spoken in. <laughs> he has his bloody thing on right now. I do. <laughs> oh my. Look at this. People, people are watching this right now and they're saying, hey, hey they might I need to message you right now. Maybe, maybe, because you've got me tagged in this, right? Yeah, I tagged you. I tagged you. Okay, oh, so, oh, good. But anyway, love to all of your friends, man. I'm sure, sure they're great people. Much love to all you. We're back on, oh, Mr. Clemens. Nice. I was just saying, inside might be a bit better. We could go inside, maybe. Go inside. Hello. Hello. So, can I pay for these oh, two, please? Get this. Yeah, do you have change for that? Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, we just did a live podcast with uh, you making a transaction. Hey. Yep. What'd you just pay in dollars? I paid in dollars. They don't. I don't have any of the. The um, currency here is dollars. Cape Verde in dollars. And yes. Yes. Sorry. Okay, next throne is me. I'll treat you to a water with lemon. Squattles. 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 <laughs> we got a lot right now going on this podcast. We have people showing off cash. We have uh, giving our dishes away. We have uh, somebody asking for uh, money. Understandable. Which happens. Which, which, which does happen. Yeah. It's a commonality based on the places we go. As far as you see a level of different desperation and just a different level of quality of life. Noticeable in Brazil, noticeable in Chile, noticeable in Argentina, Uruguay, depending if you're from like me, America, or England. You know, because sometimes you do find yourself haggling. Do you know what the word haggle means in you? Haggling? Yeah, kind of. Ex explain. Haggling. I'm trying to get the price down for something. For Negotiating. Negotiating, yeah. And I, I'm, I bought a whistle in Brazil, and I know, I know I paid three times too much, but the guy did such a great speech about his family first. But he said, oh, what the hell? If that's important to him, buy a yeah. whistle. So I bought I think, a whistle. I think that's that's probably one of the biggest connecting aspects of, if you give money to an individual like that. Yeah. Is the, there's a family element. So like when I was in Europe in Montevideo, I was with my roommate walking down the street and I just had extra, I don't remember what the currency was in Uruguay, but there was a, a mom and her like two, two daughters just sitting on the street 
with like yeah. the sign. They had like the the jar of change, and I just dropped my money there because I was yeah. like, Lennon, dude, let's just use our extra money. We're not going to use here to that because we know it's going to, like, that's going to go to a good cause. Yes. And it's a family element because you know if we're in the back, like, mm. you don't want the kids to starve. Absolutely. We don't want anybody to starve, but it, unfortunately it's happening. It's happening. And, uh, you know, there's certain people may come on. Maybe all of us will be forgotten one day, but that's why we're back to... I think we're getting close to signing off. <laughs> you keep saying that. I think we should make a way inside eventually because there's a corner spot. I have faith that it's going to be a little better Wi-Fi. Right now we're on the outside of this cafe. We're kind of the furthest away from the door, so it's been a little true. frustrating. That's true. Has it been frustrating? I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. It's too. been snippets, snippets. Well, okay. the great thing about it is we've been carrying our conversation in between. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah. they miss the best bits. <laughs> There's more best bits to come, though. More best bits to Thank come. you, sir. <laughs> Thank I'll you very you. much. What the hell have I got here? Look at this. We have different different coins. What is that current? Oh, we got euros. Where's the... Uh, look at that. You oh, no, that's a scudos. You can actually see through it. Escudos. 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 It's only specific to this... Is it only specific to Cape Verde? Like Cape Verde Islands. It actually says Banco... The cable verde. Oh yeah. So this is the only place in the world you could use these. So when I go out this afternoon with Christina on the bike, I'll have to use that. Yeah. So. Which I don't even know how much that is. I don't think that's that much. Huh? Well, I gave ten books and I had two drinks. So what do you think? Say they came to five books. Then I've got probably five or six books worth of yeah. Cape Verdean escudos. Escudos. Welcome to stay out here. I'm Kippy. Okay. Outside. Yeah. You hold down the fort. So right. Oh, sorry. We're uh, we're back there. We're uh, we're doing a mobile mobile podcast right now. Looking to get better. Hello. Better Wi-Fi. Shout out to a dog. There's a dog. Corner spot. Oh, is it? A bit echoing. Ah, we'll roll with it. We're gonna we're gonna roll with it. Daniello, a uh, good friend of mine, in the, in the background over here, is still on her phone talking to her lovely boyfriend. Here we go. Ah. Uh, see if you can fix the camera there. Oh. Look, we still have room, so I think we made the right decision. Sorry, I just tilted it way down there. Oops. Oh, goodness. I just broke your <laughs> tripod. <laughs> You do. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> there you go. So if Facebook's still around like 50 years from now, yeah, we'll be able to look back on this. Although it'll be pretty hard to find. Although we just have to search for Alex Clemens and Chris Lee's. Yeah. And we'll find it. That's the beauty of that. So come on then. Before we go, I want you to give us one of your inspiring thoughts. Alex. Inspiring thoughts. Well, right now I'm reading a book about emotional intelligence. And really, your smartest doesn't always translate to how you go about life more so the aspect of controlling your emotions right so i use the example of i mean it's a great example now i'm really grateful how it happened the example of doing try that yeah we better try that you got i think it'd be better is this okay. an android no it's an iphone don't know if it would work you might do probably it's just it's a, it has a, yeah it should be the same okay yeah so, unless you plug it into like and did you plug it into the port yeah Oh, uh, yeah, you put it into the point of work. Yeah, I'll, I'll carry on the conversation. So I was going to say, about controlling your emotions. Here's an example of when I was in Brazil, Manaus. Manaus, Brazil, I uh, was with an, uh, a friend of mine, and he actually, late at night, around 12, 15, ended up getting uh, robbed by three men with a knife. And so they came up to me and my friend, we were on a park bench, holding a knife probably this long, and asking for money. Oh, I'll let you plug it in. Because I feel like we're picking up the music right now more so. If it doesn't go in all the I way. Think this is better. Oh, we can hold it like this. Yeah. Don't hold the mic. That's it. There you go. I'll hold it like this. It is? So that's what I think, right? You can hear better from there. No idea. We'll find out. Yeah, you out. can do. Put it close to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. But then you too. Okay. It's okay. I like this. is makeshift. Makeshift podcast. Hey. 
She has no idea what we're doing. <laughs> she's speaking to somebody who's making a smile, which is nice. She's speaking to the love of her life, the love of her life, wow. love of her life. But yeah, controlling your emotions. Controlling your emotions is a key skill, a a key hat to have throughout throughout your life that you wear. Yeah. There's a lot of situations where you could just all of a sudden lose it, and then you go into a different person, and you miss out on opportunities. You miss out on being able to communicate what you really want to communicate. And that's, that's the whole aspect of life. A lot of times, we, everybody communicates, but few connect. That's such a powerful phrase. And there's that a, is, there's that a, is good. I there's like a name that. of there's a, That's a title of a book, too. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's so true, though. That is so true, because you're not getting anything out of it or giving anything if you're not connecting. Hmm. Maybe sometimes we, we feel like we don't deserve to connect. It's very strange. We kind of put ourselves down. We've all been there, right? I've been there many times. Until eventually you'll speak to somebody who connects with you and you think, wow, wow. Yeah. 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 And so this has been great, this ship. I've connected with a lot of people on here. Yeah, and so. different parts of the ship too, whether it's in the crew mess is a big one, like late yeah. at night, that's a big one. But even, I'm sure you guess too, you've connected to a lot oh, of guests. Well, you sometimes do it out of just being polite, then you sit down and you realize, wow, they've got something to say. Like I was chatting one night to a guy who was an ironmonger, but not just any ironmonger. He, he built most of the rides at Los Angeles Disneyland. Can you believe that? Wow. He built the Matterhorn bobsled. Oh, His yeah. company <laughs> built the Matterhorn bobsled. I don't know, yeah. And the Cinderella ride. The and, Cinderella you know, rides, They yeah. were the first metal rides to come out because there was wooden before that. So you get yeah. speaking to these people, you think, oh my God, I've been on those rides. Yeah. And this guy's and like this, in his this 80s. Is the guy who, yeah, this guy's just responsible for it. And you, well, you get a lot of people that have, have done good and out of life, successful on these ships, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know, you sometimes associate loads of money with people being a little bit kind of obstinate. Right. These people have been amazing. Absolutely yeah, amazing. There's absolutely a lot of interesting individuals to chat to and just find out where they're coming from and their background. I haven't met anybody I haven't liked. I mean, I don't know them that well, but... They've all been very polite and very gracious, and it's been an amazing trip. Yeah, it has been, I'm, especially for you since you've been on other cruises too, as far as the quality of guests. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I've done same. so many different cruise lines, but I find the vibe on here to be really special. Hmm. And talking to also guests too, they say the same thing in, in regards to like how happy crew members are. Yeah, because oh they God. take note. Of, they take note of it. Well, we're on the quest, and there's a saying. Seaborn quest, the Seaborn quest. It's and what's a, the saying? Quest is best. Quest is the best. That's what they say. Quest is the best. And it's true. It's a luxury super yacht. You call it super yacht? It's, it's, it's high-end cruising. High-end cruising. High cruising. You know, very expensive. Even like a couple of weeks, you're talking twenty grand. It's a lot of money. You know, and the the, the top kind of cabins are. You know, in the six figures. Six figures. Crazy. Yeah, you're right. Just right. I don't know. Well, like individuals that have been on the ship since... Helga's been on for 45 days. Yeah. It's a long time. To days, yeah. So she's done three back-to-back -back cruises. Three, like, cruises. I think a couple of them have been, like, 20 days and there was a short one. You know? Yeah, there's, yeah so there's individuals that have been... They're, going, they're on a cruise for 66 days. Yeah. And that goes from like Antarctica, South America to Europe. So, you know, you're talking about paying the best cabins and you're staying on. And then you'll see them again. You'll come on later on in the year. And I've, I've been told they call them seaborn royalty. They'll come on two or three times a year for like 40 days. No. You know, unbelievable. And that's, that's a pretty unique aspect of hospitality because a lot of times hospitality involves just like one time you see somebody and that's it, you never really I ever see I think we're starting to sound like an advert for Seaborn now, but I'll just tell you something. We're sharing our experiences, that's what we're it's doing. It's just all it is. And the details they go to on these ships are incredible. It's not just about... It's like an interpreter. So yeah, we're talking about details. So just quickly, what they try to do on Seaborn or what we all try to do is give them not just a service, but moments, special moments. So, you know, you're giving those, like we were talking about connecting with each other, connecting with them and we get something back too mm -hmm. anyway there you go back over to you I love that I love that I would say it's interesting from the aspect that especially individuals that work in the restaurants yeah the serving on the ship 
they have to know pretty much every guest's name, surname. Yes. Because they address everybody by their surname. And you, you do like tests throughout the yeah. beginning of the ship. So you get pictures of all the guests, their, their surname, and you have to memorize it. And then like one, at, one example is one of the individuals that works on the ship. He got like 296 names out of 298. And because he got that many names out, right, and I think he had the highest score of all the bartenders or servers on the ship, he got like an extra. So what did he, what did he get when he got all the names right? He got an extra four hours off or like a, a half day off. Because normally if you're a server, your schedule is based off of breakfast, lunch, dinner. You only have about maybe two hours, two and a half hours off in between each meal. And it's like that for four months straight. So you never yes. really get much time off in shore. Which is another interesting aspect when you're traveling around on a cruise ship, I, at least from my, my experience, I like to refer to it as like it's an appetizer of traveling. Because yeah. I only get to go, I go to places I n wouldn't be able to go anytime soon in my life. Yes. But it's for a short amount of time. Like today, in Mon Mandelo, I only have about from, from like 9.30 till 4. And that's it. That's a great period. But it works though, yeah. That is a great period. Yeah. But it's good. He's going biking later today, so that'll be fantastic. I'm cycling today with Christina, which will be fun. We should, we should try and go biking before uh, you leave. I don't know what other ports are. Yeah, we, we should do that. So I like to go biking. Because it's quite flat here, so it's, it's looking Oh, yeah, it is very flat. Cars aren't driving too fast. You might get the occasional pack of dogs running after you. Yeah. You have to fend them off with your leg, and then all of a sudden you're making a mad dash away. Yeah. Yeah, a dog came up to me once, one of these ports, and started rubbing itself up against me like that. I said, get off, he went. <laughs> I said, well, hurry up then. <laughs> Did it get off? Yeah. Did I tell you how there was a dog involved in the Manaus thing? No. Had, oh, you told yeah, me, yeah. Did I tell you about the dog? Okay, yeah. The dog, like, befriended us, so we befriended the dog. Have you know. actually done a podcast since you got mugged? No, I would love to, though. Since think, you got mugged? You haven't done that? This is your first one? Yeah, I briefly, when you walked away, I mentioned it, but I think I'm, I'll talk about more when it's actually a better setting. Okay, so yeah. So I can be more focused. So it. he took about experiences and emotional you got connections. Experiences, though, he had too. a connection with some bad people. Some very bad people. Bad they got your attention straight away, bad right? Yeah. And yeah. Um, he said there was this dog that was watching over them when they was doing it. He'd seen the dog beforehand, and the dog was barking at these twats. Twat is an English word, by the way. Do you have that word? No. It's really. actually, if you look at them in the dictionary, it means pregnant goldfish, which is an insult to pregnant goldfish. But it's not a nice word. Goldfish. Goldfish. A goldfish, goldfish is like fish. a little uh, yeah, yeah. fish you put yeah. in a bowl. Yeah. There you go. That's sort of twice. So they're idiots. Pregnant goldfish. To pick on somebody like this guy. I mean, look at this guy. Why would they pick on somebody like this man who looks like he could conquer the world? Anybody can conquer the world. It's all about where your mind goes with it. Yeah. In that process or that escapade. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. It's true, dude. Yeah. It's true, man. It's been interesting getting to know you because since you've been on this cruise, especially not this cruise, but your contract, yeah. you said how you've grown as a person. In the, I have. You, you know. you've been in a, you could say like a transition of your life, in the, maybe the Absolutely. past. Absolutely. Yeah. I have. To be honest with you, I don't mind saying I have grown a lot through being a twin, being with a twin all my life, and then being in a long, long relationship, and then another long relationship. I've, I've had a few relationships. You know, they've all been long, and I've never been single. So to have some time in my own cabin. I've been in a transitional period. It's been wow. It's a wow. It's been a wow kind of time for me. First of all, it was like whoa, but then it's been slowly. It's slowly going up. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's it's Such an element when you're with your twin, because you were with your twin for the majority of your life. And I again, still speak to my twin a lot. Yeah. I still love him to bits. I still speak to my twin boys. Yeah. I think it was the night before last I spoke to them almost an hour each. I met one of your twins on the, the video you called. On you Messenger. Yeah. yeah the owner that was. Jonah, yeah. Good, good lads, right? Yeah. yeah. They live uh, in the California area. At well, the moment they do, yeah. yeah. Oh, so kind. So kind to of shift it back on to me. Absolutely. <laughs> it's your well, podcast, dude. Oh, man, but I like to give everybody love. Everybody love. Yeah. yeah. Let's do this, because it's... In, this is what I normally like to ask a lot of people when I do a podcast. And actually, when I host tables in the main restaurant yeah. with guests, I ask them this question. This is what I asked yesterday when I was hosting like nine other individuals. So you heard of Ernest Hemingway, correct? Ernest Hemingway, yes, American course. author. So at one time, he was asked to come up with a six-word story by his colleagues. 
Okay, six word story. Yeah. So he came up with for sale, baby shoes never worn. For sale, baby shoes yeah. never worn. Now you can interpret that a lot of ways. Yeah. But for yourself, it's just more the concept behind it. What would be your six word story? And you can apply it to your overall life. You can apply it to maybe this current moment in time. You could apply this to an individual. You could just apply it to a, a random story. Whatever you construct in your head. Oh, you're it's just, the hop there. That's why I asked that question, because I don't want any pre preparation. When you have six words, it really emphasizes each word to carry monumental meaning. If you've tried to learn, then you've learned to try. If you. Okay, that's okay. ten. We just worked out that's ten words. <laughs> so that's working then. If try, learn. Then learn, try. <laughs> then learn, try. If try, if try, learn. I wouldn't learn. pay any attention to that. Wait, it's wait, say so it was a anything. five? If try? If try, learn, then learn, oh, try. Then learn, try. Oh. It doesn't mean a bloody thing, though. It's got to mean something. It doesn't mean a thing, guys. Just don't even listen to that. But we'll it's go, the best I can do. <laughs> we'll say your theme of your six word story would be to learn. Absolutely. Be a lifelong learner. So in other words, if you're doing something and you're kind of doing it and it's the first time, that is great. You can't fail, can you? You're just doing something for the first time. It's an experience. It's an experience. So if you screw it up, then you learn something. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So whatever you do, just go out and do something. Don't just sit and procrastinate. Yep. There's a, you know what? I'm so annoyed about myself. I slept through Devil's Island. Can you believe that? little reference uh, Devil's Island's a little island on the northeast coast of South America yeah. it's owned by or it's it's country of France yeah France. French Guyana French Guyana and there's three small islands yeah on the islands originally a, it was a penal colony yeah penal colony uh, where the prisoners were being these very small cells yes. with really no natural light whatsoever there was even like a, a, cro a crocodile moat I was yeah. told I only had about 20 minutes to explore the island, wow. made it work, but you, you slept right through it. Well, the thing was, I do like a lot of people, especially musicians do, I come alive after I've worked. So at 12 o'clock at night, I'm calling people, because yeah. as I said, my kids are in, in LA, so they're kind of quite a few hours behind, yeah. so I can chat with them, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do a bit of work. I, I'm more focused after I've worked, I'm I don't focused. know what it is. So I'm up till four or five in the morning, so I slept till like, by the time I got up, it was like three, four o'clock, and we had to be back on by four. Yeah. I was annoyed with myself because I saw these great pictures that people like Olivia had put on. Olivia is the singer from the other band, and she just rolled half an apple out in front of her, and all these monkeys came from the trees. Yeah. What a fabulous thing, you know? I miss that. I miss that. Never mind. No, I, and that's one of the like aspects of working on a ship. Because you have to play around with like sleep, yeah, and you have to play around with capitalizing on your time when we're at ports. Absolutely. Because at least I know for a fact for me, a lot of these places I go, I'll probably never ever go back. That's the thing, right? I, I might never go back, but yeah. we'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. Time's always fleeting, and that's why time will tell. Absolutely. Time will tell. So in this sense, let's see. Uh, it's not going to say. Oh no! Look, we've gone almost. We should make it 40 minutes. We should make it 40 minutes. So we have about two more minutes left. So for you sharing your six-word story, I also like to ask individuals this. And I've asked this question in different parts of the world because I've asked, before I came on a ship, I did traveling throughout Europe and I asked individuals this question. I'd actually film them. Like I have a whole YouTube page. I have like a, a lot of videos, but I, I actually film individuals answering this question. So Chris, what do you want to do before you die? I want to keep Wait, I living. Asked, actually, I did ask him this question. I remember. Now. Did you really? I did. Yeah, I remember you said you actually said the same answer. You want, you want to just keep on living. I just want to but keep on living. What does keep on living mean to you? Exactly what we've been doing on this last few weeks. This last. The more I've been on this ship, the more I've grown. I think it's just a time on my own in, in, a, in a nice single cabin, just finding out more about myself. And sorry, guys, if it sounds cheesy but loving yourself it's something I never cared about I was always looking everywhere else I'm not looking in here so you start to think you're not worthy and as I said I'm sorry if it sounds cheesy but if you don't put yourself 
high up on the list, yeah. then you're not going to give anybody else the time of day that they deserve. You've got to first look after yourself. And Absolutely. then when you do that, then you can give people the respect that you think you deserve. Yeah. And that is important. It is important. It is. That's well said. I love that. I love, especially that kind of came more fruition for you in the past like, Absolutely. four months almost. Three don't months, get me wrong. I don't think I've been much of an arsehole, but I think yeah. sometimes I've been very naive and I've been a little bit, I had my blinkers on and I haven't seen everybody yeah. else's story. You know what I mean? I've been so kind of focusing on what I think I'm looking at and not what everybody else is looking at. And that's the case for a lot of people. A lot of people go about just thinking, say the world revolves around them or just all their thoughts yeah. are, are based off of how this benefits me. Yeah, absolutely. And it's hard to rewire yourself to think about like others. But you know what, when you do, it's an enlightening moment. Mm -hmm. You know, you're sharing things with other people. You see there's opportunity so everywhere too. Fabulous, yeah. so amazing. And you know, you'd see even beautiful women. You would sometimes think, oh, you, they think that you want to kind of hit on them or something like that. I don't worry about that now. I just speak to them and they open up and it's so lovely. Yeah. That this girl I'm going off, um, Christina, and you know her, right? Mm -hmm. She said, why don't you come off on a bike ride? And I thought, oh, I don't know. Do I really want to go on a bike ride? I've never done a bike ride. Then I thought, why not? Let's do it. Do it. You're going you're gonna to have a fat, like, fabulous time. I'm looking time. forward to it. Yeah. You're getting sun, you're with beautiful individual and absolutely the, and spiritual wise mm. you wait to back up though you you ever ridden a bike or you ever, you, mm. you, yeah <laughs> okay i've ridden a bike okay. I can ride did a you bike. mean like you've never ridden, you, didn't, you haven't done a bike ride since on the cruise but you know the last time i was in the back they had these little stabilizers on the back <laughs> i was like six do they not have them now no i'm kidding i, know, I can you, ride a bike. okay <laughs> what do you mean by you said something like I haven't been, I've never done a bike ride before. I'm joking. Okay, that's what I, mean. I, I, haven't, okay. I haven't done a bike ride on the ships. Well, that's, that's what, what I mean. Right, yeah. But years ago, I used to have a Claude Butler. Have you heard of them? No. Good bike. Is it like a road bike? It's a road bike, yeah. I like road bikes. So, yeah. I can ride a bike. He says. So he says. Yeah. Will there be proof later on? We don't know. It's all right. The proof, the proof is in the details. I don't know. You said the devil is in the details. <laughs> I did. But I just said the proof's in the details. Look into the details and you'll find the truth. Yeah. The truth. Okay, man. So oh, in that sense. We were going to do 40 minutes. I think oh, we've gone over. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I, I have a, a habit of saying time. My time is off a lot of times. Because, you know, we get, we get flowing. We're in the flow state, man. We're in the flow state. But on that note, Chris, it's been an utmost pleasure. You hanging with me for a little Absolutely. while in always, this moment of time. Man. Always. And doing always. a podcast, sharing our thoughts. We just bumped into Much each love. other, by the way. We didn't even come off together today. These are the best, the unplanned, unplanned in the moment. The, in the Cafe Mamma Mia. In Mindelo, Cape Verde. Cape Verde in Africa. Yeah. Technically, it's Africa, even though it's not touching Africa. Absolutely. It's off the coast of Africa. On that sense, thank you for sharing your six word story. More about yeah. you. What do you want to do before you die? I and just wanna live. Just live. More. 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 I more. just want to live more. Yeah, there you go. There, so that That's, should be it. I just want to live more. Yeah. Ten, fifteen minutes max. We're okay, we've got loads of time. She has to be back at work at two thirty. So That's farewell, San Diego. Farewell, San Diego. On that note, Z Nation as always. You're about to plur it up. Plur. Well actually plurp. It's an acronym for peace. Love, unity, respect, respect, and as always, as always, passion. Pleasure as always, Z Nation signing off for another podcast from another part of the world. Much love. Over and out. Ciao. Ciao.